What's up, CSUs? Welcome back to another edition of Game Show Mania. This week we are continuing our little mini series on trivias, specifically holiday trivia, and we are doing Christmas. The very best holiday, in my humble opinion. It goes like Saint, it goes like Christmas, then probably like St. Patrick's Day. Really? Then, I'm just kidding, no. I don't. Wow. <laughs> no one thinks St. Patrick's Day is, is a good holiday. All right, so, you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. First up, we have Addy versus Grant. I'm gonna read a question. I'm Your on. job is to slap that button uh, first, and then you're gonna get a chance to answer the question. If you get it wrong, then the other team gets a point. If you get it right, then your team gets a point. All right, Addy, you ready? I'm ready. Grant, are you ready? I'm ready. And the first question is, Put wait for me to back. finish saying it before you <laughs> slap the button, okay? First question. In the song slash movie, Frosty the Snowman, what makes Frosty come to life? We have A. What are you doing? Magic shoes. B. Magic candy cane. C. Magic hat. Or D. The warmth and love of his friends. Okay, I think Grant was first. It's Grant. The magic hat. Show me the magic hat. Yeah, I was right. Wow, who knew? Who knew? Let's I, go. I have no idea. I think that. So that was an easy one. That was like it was a good warm up. Good warm up. All right. Next up, we have Miss Natalie Mendez versus Grant. <laughs> All right, let's see what that next question is. Wait for me to say all four of the possible answers. All right, who played the character George Bailey in the Christmas movie It's a Wonderful Life? We have A, George Clooney, B, Jimmy Stewart, C, Cary Grant, or D, Sean Connery. All right, Grant. C, Cary Grant. That is incorrect. The correct answer was Jimmy Stewart. And I know because that's one of my favorite films of all time. All right. That. Next up, let's, uh, so Natalie, sti or, well, okay, so that's a point. We have one point for the girls, one point for the boys, because Grant got that wrong, but he got the first one right. All right, Addy, what's going through your head right now? You think you can get another point for the girls' team? Yes, I do. All right, next question. Which of the following Christmas decorations was originally made oh, from strands of silver? We have A, ornaments, B, tinsel, C, snowflakes, or D, the mistletoe. <laughs> All right, Addy, go ahead. B, tinsel. Show me tinsel! That is correct. Good job, Ed. Oh, okay. Well, high five? No. <laughs> All right. Yep. All right, next up, Natalie. So we have two points for girls, one Yay! points for boys. Just one. All right, here we go. Next okay. question. What Christmas themed ballet premiered in St. Petersburg, Russia in 1892? We have A, the Nutcracker, B, St. Nicholas Grand Arrival. Uh, C, the Christmas Ballad, or D, the Reindeer Games. All right, Grant was first. Ah. The Nutcracker. Show me the Nutcracker. Good job. There it Good is. Job. Good job. You know, for five years in a row, I was in a, ba a ballet called the Nutcracker. Oh, no wow. joke. There's photos. Wait, so did you actually know that, or was that a guess? That was like every single year in my town, they do a Nutcracker. So recital, you knew you like, the tights? Nutcracker. Like you knew. I rocked the tights. But you knew I that it premiered that. in St. Petersburg, Russia in 1892? The classic Russian ballet. There's also a Barbie movie that came out when we were younger, also featuring the Nutcracker. Right, well, here we go. Oh. Next up, so it's two to two. Next up, in Charles Dickens' novel, A Christmas Carol, what was Mr. Scrooge's first name? We have A, Edgar, B, Jonathan, C, Edmund, or D, Ebenezer. Okay, Grant was first. D, Ebenezer. Show me Ebenezer Scrooge! Oh, what? Show me Ebenezer Scrooge! There it is, there it is. Ebenezer, ah oh, yes, ah oh, yes. That was a favorite of mine growing, well, a favorite of my parents growing up. All right, next up we have Miss Natalie. Okay, okay Grant is now up three to two oh, no. on the girls. Yeah, well, I mean, Let's he's, go. Just, he's, one, he's one two straight. I'm not old, that's why. All right, Miracle on 34th Street prominently oh. featured what famous real life department store? All right, what? Natalie. What? <laughs> You're not gonna oh, sorry, it. I didn't see them. Sorry, sorry, I said. A, J.C. Penney's. <laughs> B, Sears. C, Macy's. Or D, Dillard's. Are you All right, <laughs> Natalie, what is it? C, Macy's. All Are right, no show me Macy's. Anymore? Oh, did you know that one? Yes, I All right, three to three, three to three. three, to three. All right, bring back up uh. Miss Addie. All right, the next question. How many reindeer are featured in the poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas? We have A, trick question, there are no reindeer in that poem. B, just one, Rudolph. C, uh, eight, or D, nine. Okay, Addy. Um, A? You don't even know what answer you want to use. 
Show me trick question, there is no reindeer in the pub. That is incorrect, the correct answer was eight. All right, Grant has a four to three lead with two questions remaining. Next up, we have Miss Natalie, and the next question is, in the movie A Christmas Story, the neighbor's dogs in a chaotic scene eat the Christmas turkey. What was the last name of those neighbors? We have A, Jones, B, Williams, C, Bumpus, or D, Frumpus. Grant, I'm gonna guess A. Show me A. Jones. No, no. it was the Bumpuses. Was no that. way it was the Bumpuses. <laughs> Not the Bumpuses again. All right, four to four, my friends. It all comes down to this. Are you serious? The final round. In what 1964 classic movie, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, what was the name of Rudolph's faithful elven friend? A, Hermie. Oh, yeah. B, Marcus. Let's go. C, Philip, or D, Wallace. Addy was first. That's Addy. Crap. What was the name? Hermie. No. Was it Hermie? It was! And Addy wins! Addy and Natalie for the win. Great job, Addy. What do you have to say for yourself? Great job. Uh, I won. Oh my god. Good point, good point, and well said. Mr. Grant, thank you for playing. Better luck next time. You lose $10,000. Just kidding. What if that's how game shows work? All right, you guys. Hey, check out next week where we'll have another amazing game show mania. See you guys then.